If you're filling up these days, these prices look mighty fine. It's a blessing. We do more traveling, being that the gasoline is a lower price now. Most folks haven't seen gas this cheap since around 2008. So why are many people talking about the negative consequences of oil? Well, the stock market doesn't like it. For many, of course, oil remains the eye of the storm. And some of the biggest companies are losing money as a result. But there's upside to low oil as well. Low oil prices benefit the transportation infrastructure sectors. Specifically, that's airports, seaports, and toll roads. The key benefit is that, that it increases the propensity to travel for toll roads and reduces the cost for airlines and shipping lines to move goods or people from one location to another. Though oil producing states like Alaska, North Dakota, Texas and Louisiana are the hardest hit by the oil slump. On the flip side of that, if you're in New York, Florida, Illinois, even California and many other states, there are a lot of benefits from low oil prices. And for sectors like transport, which includes airlines, trucking companies, fast food companies and lower end retailers, cheap oil and gas is a good thing. States that see a lot of tourism and regions with industries that are dependent on buying fuel for everyday business activities, even farmers are reaping the benefits of low oil. Companies across the spectrum that are consumer based are benefiting. The autos like GM and Ford who had record sales years. The retailers like Walmart and Macy's who have seen better results now as consumers finally spend that gas savings. Royal Cruise Lines, Carnival Cruise Lines, and even Walt Disney World as people finally have the money saved and are able to go on vacation and spend these gas savings. I'm in disbelief that this can be considered a negative for the U.S. economy, an economy that's 70 percent the consumer, a consumer that's saving $700 million a day compared with what they were spending on gas not two or three years ago. But not everyone agrees. We haven't seen much of the bump that I thought, or at least most economists would see, for example, in retail or in restaurants. A lot of those stocks have been doing just as badly with gas uh, down at $2 or under $2 a gallon as it was doing at 4 Most people like to whine about gas prices when they go above, let's say, $4 a gallon, but it really doesn't affect how much gas they buy. Demand doesn't really change all that much. Tell that to these people. I like to travel a lot now. So I can save money on gas, why not travel? It's easy. $10 to fill up your tank sometimes. <laughs> For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dina Gosofsky.